Let's review how we measure angles with a protractor. Now this is what a normal protractor looks like and it has two sets of numbers and it's in the shape of a half of a circle. That's because every time all of our angle measurements are based off the number of degrees that are in a full circle, which is 360. Well half of a circle measures 180 and it goes both ways. See we have a set of numbers in blue that go from 0 to 180 this way and from in the numbers in black that go from 0 to 180 that way. Now when we want to measure an angle we want to be sure to line up one edge of a shape or a triangle along this center point right here all the way across until it lines up with a zero mark. And you want to start at zero just like with a ruler and count the number of degrees around in, in a circular form. So let's see what that looks like. So if I wanted to measure this angle on a triangle I would line up my protractor along that vertex and see the edge of the triangle goes right across to zero. Now from zero, I'm going to go up until I see the other leg cross itself, so for right here. So it looks like the measure of this angle would be 30 degrees, zero to 30. Now let's measure another angle. So if we wanted to measure the, this angle here, this time, see my triangle opens up in another direction. Well, I'm not going to use the black numbers. I'm going to use the blue numbers because that's where the zero is. So I'm going to measure from the distance in degrees that goes from zero all the way to where it stops at 100. So the measure of this angle here was 30 degrees, and the measure of this angle is 100 degrees.